we got to talk about this, Andy. Yes. I, um, I've tried, I think, in the last couple of years since I got this show. We've been on the air almost five years. Mm -hmm. I have tried very hard to become, I think, a pretty good performer. In some respects. You know, well, you, you seem to be... No, I'm not asking for that applause, although mm. two of you... The fact that only two of you seem to agree hurt me terribly. Um, I went there for a reason, uh -huh. and I'll tell you why. I have tried... Hmm, interesting. Um, <laughs> You're doing it again! No, Andy, I... Andy, I bring this up for a reason. It's that... Uh, I bring it up because I have, I think... Yeah, I tell a mean little joke. I do the little talking with people, yeah. right? The interviews. Yes. That's uh -huh. my sign uh. for. That's the universal sign for celebrity interview. Uh. Uh. And uh, I do the comedy sketches. I think I do uh, a lot of the stuff. You that really you... strive to be a well-rounded showman. Thank you. You're and welcome. my point is that I was thinking about it the other day, and I thought, you know what? To really be a great showman, to be one of the all-time great people in show business, one of the great all-time performers, you really got to know how to dance. That's something that I never learned how to do. You do. You have to know how to dance. Yeah. And, and I was always thinking, like, that's the one thing. The fact that I can't dance is the one thing that's keeping me from becoming a great showman. It's been holding me back for years. I know. <laughs> and I thought, I can't help you. Right. But maybe what I can do, maybe what I can do is maybe in one day, if I signed up for a lot of the great dance classes here in New York City, and there are many, this is the capital of dance in mm -hmm. America, if I signed up for some great dance classes, I could take them all in one day and learn all the important styles of dance. So, ladies and gentlemen, I did that just a few days ago. I went out and I learned every conceivable form of dance that I can think of in New York City, and I brought a camera crew with me. And, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I discovered. Liz, uh, would you roll this, please? This is the Joffrey Ballet School in Greenwich Village, and uh, I'm gonna go check it out. Let's go. Toe. Is that? How do you? Oh, you don't do that. You just go on the half point. Half point. What's half that? Half point. Okay. Just put your feet in first position. Okay. What's first, that? This is this position. Okay. Okay. Like this. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. So that kind of hurts. It's, it's okay. Like okay. Pulling okay. Okay. Well, groin. All right. Well, then don't turn them out so much. Turn them in a little bit more. How about uh, like that's no, still no, 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 painful. No. Just that's so painful. Well, then you shouldn't be doing this. You should have. You should have a look of like, hey, I can do this and you can't. Just smile a little bit. Not too much. Cool. Okay, thank yeah, you. I'll, I'll work on the movement later, just the face I'll work on now. Coro's Dance Sport on the Upper West Side. This is Paul. How are you? How are you doing, Conan? You taught uh, Al Pacino mm -hmm. how to do the tango in Scent of a Woman. Is that right? That's it. That's my claim to fame. Hoo-ah! What I really want you to do is teach me how to dance like Al Pacino. In well, first of all, we need a blindfold. we got to make you look blind, because he was blind in that character. So let's... Is this what he used to train? This is the exact scarf.
This is Kelvin. He's a hip hop instructor. Is that right? That's right. What do you think of my threads? Is this pretty cool? Is this hip hop? Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty cool. Is this authentic looking? I mean, is this uh, mm. is this street? Yeah. The yeah. pants are really uh, baggy. They're I baggy. got them. They need to be baggy and maybe a little lower. Lower? Yeah, a little lower. You're kidding, right? No. Okay, well, yeah. that's like, you can't get technically much lower than that. That's or it's a whole different kind of show we're doing. <laughs> show me just what, how we get started here. Just show okay. me what to do. First, you got to find the beat. Once the music starts, you got to find the beat. And the way you do that, just keep the knees loose. Keep. Stay loose. Wait for the bounce. Boom. 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 Okay, I'm losing my pants. There we go. Is that anything we can do about that? Is there any? I mean, because you don't, you're not street if you're like, hello. I'm here to dance. Hello. Oh man, bring in the noise. Bring in some funk. There you go. How about some moonwalk? We Show me moonwalk. moonwalk, yeah. Moonwalk, okay. We can do moonwalk forward and back. We're gonna do both. Okay. How do we do that? Because if I can moonwalk, I know that I'll be right on the cutting edge of what people are doing right now. <laughs> this is 1986, right? I want to show you something if you've got sure. the time. Imagine there's an invisible thread hanging okay. off each hip joint. Mm -hmm. All right? Wet the fingers. Okay. Come on, don't be shy. Okay. Grab one thread, pull it up. Okay. Grab the other thread, pull it up. Okay. And do a hip hop beat. <laughs> You pull the thread, huh? Pull the thread. Uh, 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 I, I kept the outfit, too, the hip-hop outfit. It's very nice. I'm going to start bringing a little of that look into this show. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, folks, we're going to take a break. When we come back, Thane Maynard's going to join us. Let's stick around.